YouTube, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz, and in this video, I am going to share with you more news that is brought to you by Preferred Currency News. Okay, so let's begin. So, before I start, I just want to share with you this website. So, this website is the subscription website where you receive a newsletter daily through email of the latest updates on cryptocurrencies and you will be the first to get notified and also you will receive a spreadsheet of Donald the Guru's research list so the spreadsheet is very informative as well okay so this is only for $15 a month or $180 a year guys so keep note of this one right so um, here is the website where we got our news so preferred currency news okay so let's start so South Korea messaging giant cacao to attract crypto investments in Singapore so cacao corp a major South Korean internet conglomerate has established a subsidiary of the company in Singapore to attract foreign investors with cryptocurrencies Seoul based media outlet News One reported November 21. According to the article, Cacao Corp established the brainchild of Cacao subsidiary Ground X, the corporation's blockchain platform Clayton, in Singapore yesterday. The media outlet also states, with the reference to the Singapore Chamber of Commerce, that Cacao Corp is considering establishing another special corporation in Singapore aimed at managing the investments. In October, Cacao Corp had released Clayton's testnet ahead of its formal launch, set forth the first quarter of 2019. Last week, Cacao Corp had announced a new partnership agreement with Stablecoin project Terra that will use Clayton as a blockchain-based payment system, Cointelegraph reported November 14. Cacao Corp is expected to attract about 100 billion won, approximately $88 million worth of investment from venture capital and institutional invest investors through Clayton in December. The article continues. Okay, so this is very, very good news. And then let's go to the next one. So, nearly 500 crypto startups, bank, at Silvergate IPO filing reveals. So, uh, the California based parent of Silvergate Bank has detailed its relationships with the cryptocurrency industry as part of the IPO filing um, with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, so touting itself uh, as. The banking platform of innovators in its S-1 prospectus filed with a SEC on November 16, Silvergate Capital disclosed that the bank now serves 483 crypto clients with a combined 1.7 billion in non-interest bearing deposits as of quarter 3, 2018. The number of clients is up from 114 on September 30, 2017 marking an increase of 323%. Its primary customers are crypto exchanges with $793 million in deposits, institutional investors such as hedge funds and VC funds, taking a focus on crypto assets with $573 million in deposits, and other firms, including new protocol developers and miners with $227 million in deposits. The majority of our funding comes from non-interest bearing deposits associated with clients in the digital currency industry. Silvergate states, adding that that unique source of funding offers an advantage over traditional financial institutions. Those deposits are invested 
into interest earning deposits uh, at other banks and investment securities as well as into lending opportunities that provide attractive risk-adjusted returns, it says. Capitalizing on crypto relationships, the firm has developed its own crypto infrastructure called the Silvergate Exchange Network or SAN. A network of digital currency exchanges and investors that it says allows the efficient movement of used dollars between participating digital currency exchanges and investors around the clock. Susan so was developed and tested in 2017 with some customers and opened up to all crypto related customers in early 2018. So, Silvergate Bank. Okay, the next one is ex SEC Commissioner and Investment Banking Veteran join Bitfury team. So, blockchain technology firm Bitfury has added an investment banker to its board of directors and a former U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission member to its advisory board, according to an official company blog post November 21. Founded in 2011, Bitfury is recognized as the largest non-Chinese company that develops Bitcoin or BTC blockchain software and provides infrastructure for BTC mining. The newly appointed voting member of to the Bitfury Board of Directors, Antoine Recht, is a co-founder of tech industry-focused private equity fund Corella Capital. Dash has over 20 years of experience in investment banking with Goldman Sachs, UBS London, and Morgan Stanley, according to a Bloomberg executive profile. At Morgan Stanley, he oversaw major merger and acquisition and initial public offering or IPO transactions in Europe before founding Dresh Digital Media Advisory or DDMA in 2011 to advise European media and interest internet investors. As of 2016, he has been a partner and co-founder of Paris-based Gorilla Capital, a 200 million euro or 228.1 million dollar PE fund. It Fury's new advisory board appointee, Annette Nazareth, is set to provide guidance on regulatory matters uh, in financial markets and advice in company growth. As a former SEC commissioner, Nazareth worked on a range of regulatory initiatives, including execution quality disclosure rules, implementation of equities decimal pricing, short sale refer reforms, corporate debt transparency rules and modernization of national market system. Alongside her regulatory experience, she is head of the trading and markets practice at the Washington DC office of international firm Davis Polk and Wardwell. As revealed late October, Bitfury is reported to be considering its own IPO, with the sources familiar with the matter claiming the firm as examining a range of options, including raising debt financing or selling a minority stake. Bitfury has allegedly been in contact with global investment banks in regard to its plans. Okay, so those were the, uh, some of the updates on preferred currency use. So, if you want to read more, you can visit bcn.today because there's a lot of articles here. Or if you want to focus on Bitcoin, just click Bitcoin at the menu bar. Or you can uh, click EOS, Ethereum, Litecoin as well to focus on the topics. Right? So also found here is a marketplace website where you can buy and sell using cryptocurrencies if you're bored reading articles and you just want to buy, uh, I mean, um, view um, items that are for sale here okay so that's it guys for the news updates right so guys um another one is this one so it, this one is a telegram group where you can freely join so that you can have new ideas so it says here to keep up with all the latest podcasts and videos being published for eos especially if you're eos and eos holder okay so this is nice the next one is a very high potential coin token it's called DAV coin 
so this token is um, in coin market cap as you can view it there so let's check it one all right see the coin so that was um, its website so as you can see there's an increase of 3.14 percent and it's struck 600 six, 655 in coin market cap and you can get this token at LA token bit forex by Lexi hit BTC and IDEX okay and if you want to join my um, or if you want to join initiative key you can use my invitation link below at the description and if you want to do social service on a blockchain and give feedback and get rewarded in crypto download lumius.io okay so guys i think that's it uh, please don't forget preferredcurrency.news check this out okay so before i go i just want to say that i am not a financial advisor and everything i say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell crypto so you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself okay so guys this has been vic bringing you the latest news on cryptocurrencies signing off bye bye